So today uh, we had our guest, Mr. Pratik. He is working in a uh, robot boss as a embedded software engineer. So he will be sharing his insights, how he got the embedded system job, as well as how is the work culture and what are the skills you need to get into this field. So let's start and yeah. So hi, hi Pratik, how are you doing? Yeah, hi there. Mm-hmm. Seeing after a long time. I'm yeah. very, very, very great. How have you been? Yes, it's been a long time to have a conversation with you uh, without wasting any time. So can you please briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, okay. So uh, as you know, my name, I'm Pratik. And mm-hmm. uh, here I am currently working in uh, Robert Bosch Engineering and Business Solutions. It's a uh, inner branch of uh, uh, whole Robert Bosch GmbH groups so uh, telling about the company uh, robert bosch is uh, actually the forming member of autosar consortium so they there are actually all seven members so one of them is robert bosch so basic working of bosch is uh, in the automotive industries mm-hmm. they provide the parts they provide solutions and uh, all types of uh, current uh, technologies in the automotive sector so how you get a job in a robot and as an embedded software engineer? Yeah, so um, I I have a background in uh, uh, in electronics and communication engineering. And uh, I've studied from the IT University. And they're like uh, coming to Bosch. It's uh, like uh, from electronics and communication branch. So if you have to get in the company, uh, there are certain platforms where you can uh, uh, give some exams based on your scores and uh, based on pool placement, uh, pool placement uh, drives. There are some interview rounds are there. Through those rounds, uh, you can try your best and get selected. So for me, it was like uh, from the college, there was a platform called uh, CoCubes and uh, uh, in these co- co-cubes, uh, you have to secure some marks and also your co-curricular and after all, your academics should also be well. So for entering Robert Bosch, you should uh, think uh, for us, it was like uh, we had to get a score of CGPA of seven and above. So mine was nearly that. And uh, so based on that scores and also my academic scores, um, I was uh, approached by the company as to attend the pool placement drives. Mm-hmm. So okay. there, it, there are two rounds. Um, so round one is the kind of a technical round where they'll be asking you questions related to what you have done about your projects. And uh, afterwards, the HR round, obviously. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, great, great. If you don't mind, can you tell us uh, what was your CTC? At the time of joining, it's like uh, they were offering about uh, five lakhs per annum, okay. and uh, this is a CTC where they are providing all kinds of benefits uh, along with the uh, food and uh, conveyance. Mm-hmm. So this, these are the facilities there, and uh, there's a job security also. The best part of being a bachelor. That was a great. Like uh, the boss is giving you food as well as other benefits. So, uh, apart from that, what are the skill sets required to get into uh, the core companies? Like, I think Boss is also a core company where you're working as an embedded system engineer, right? So, for an EC graduate, it is a it is a dream to work in a core company. So, what are the skills required for that? Um, frankly speaking, it's uh, not kind of uh, uh, hard bound that uh, any person who is from electronics or CS. Uh, background should only report, approach for Robert Bosch. It's uh, like uh, any uh, engineering grant student can approach there because uh, it only requirement is that uh, like uh, mostly uh, nowadays it's uh, kind of a uh, hard fast rule that uh, you'll have to just uh, go for the coding. Mm-hmm. Um, you should have a good knowledge about that. So mostly coding, testing, these are some points that uh, you can get in as a uh, fresher. Mm -hmm. So in order to get those uh, requirements, you should just focus on what's the coding skills you are getting. Basically for us, it's um, 
uh, we are learning C and Perl, some scripting languages like JavaScript and so on. So mm -hmm. it would be better if you have a formal knowledge of C, C++, Python. So this would be a plus point. In college days, we are just uh, focusing mostly on our academics. Apart from those, if we just focus on some of the clubs and uh, also some of the um, features of uh, getting in IT sectors, mm -hmm. it would be kind of beneficial. So just uh, keep your hopes high and uh, just start learning everything you can get in those yeah. days. That's absolutely right. That uh, C is the basics of all the programming languages. And if you know C, then you can get into the any field, whether it's PLSI, whether it's embedded, or whether you want to get into the IT field. And yeah, if you haven't watched our previous video of the uh, from where you can learn the Perl language for free of cost, so go and check it out there. Yeah, the link is in the i button. So apart from that, what technology are you working on right now? So for us, it's uh, um, on a basic technology. Our platforms are on AAA Pros. Uh, some Eclipse features are there. We are testing some uh, uh, doc. Uh, I mean, uh, just testing our codes and all. So solely we are working on technologies like uh, automotive sa safety and uh, airbags control, some brakes control, and uh, likewise. Uh, so power to power train and some of these uh, features are being implemented and already there. And uh, what we always do is we are just uh, carrying out the requirements of our customers and clients, mostly around these parts only. Okay, great. And what about the new technology that is emerging right now? We can see that electric cars, right? So what are your views so, on that? Um, yeah. So as I told you about uh, Bosch, that it's an AutoSAR member already. Mm -hmm. So mostly all, all the consortium are moving towards electronic vehicles and uh, such of the kind of, such of these kinds. Mm -hmm. So mostly the vehicles are getting uh, automot automated these days. So mostly our uh, classic autos are deals with uh, these parts, like uh, whatever the automotive safety and airbags controls are there. Mm -hmm. So we are working on these topics on electronic vehicles. It's like a kind of a dynamic thing. So the cl classic autos are is just dealing with the uh, existing um, uh, technologies of the automo automotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the coming industries are like uh, vector and vector, vector plus and some of the other features which are being included for the electronic vehicles and also the VRT topics are also there where they are working on the uh, newer new features of the cars. So these are the points on uh, new electronic vehicles coming around. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, so as the technology changing as well as the problem. So how difficult is it right now? Like Speaking about the problems, it's like uh, problems can only be uh, based on the deliveries of whatever technologies are we are working on. So on our part, it's like uh, most of the things are, are now automated. So there's a minimum chance of any problems being delivered to the clients or any part of the, of our, our delivery solutions. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, getting minimized each and every day based on our safety and uh, testing uh, schemes. So yeah, the problems can be said as they are reducing and mostly we are working on those parts also. okay great okay so you see the next 10 years what, what are your views there what, what will be the new technology and what can be emerging as a new technology uh okay so electronics vehicles about apart from those it's like uh, uh mostly the uh, renewable sources would be used as our you know, next feature of uh, vehicle technologies so it's like uh, electronic vehicles, we are using mostly the uh, non-renewable resources. Apart from that, mostly the green uh, vehicles would be coming as a new features in our automotive industries. Mm -hmm. So that is something we are looking upon. Mm, yeah, great. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I think uh, in the future, there will be a driving less cars as well. Like you don't need to be a... Uh, driverless cars are already... Uh, part of our uh, lifestyle now like mm -hmm. you can see just tesla and bmw also has incorporated some uh, driverless cars so that's some feature that is kind of uh, in beta yeah. so we can say that uh, that okay. is something that is yeah on road 
while in testing yes so yes uh, like after 10 year maybe reality. this will be the reality and uh, we yes. after that we don't need any driver right yes absolutely yeah. okay so just we come to the end of this uh, session and the lastly the question is like what message would you like to give to your junior uh so uh, to my juniors i'd just say that currently there is a time where you can just uh, try to learn and get the knowledge of any industry you want to mm-hmm. because at the time you are getting in a new industry it's like uh, you are paving a path for yourself if you go to an automotive industry if you are going for an um what do you say testing and security uh, systems so this these will be the basic uh, building paths of your career so it's like for choosing your career you should just decide uh, like uh, which one would be your best uh, way so if you select a way that's like uh, if if you are getting a way that uh, you enter in any uh, kind of industries so just make sure that you stick to that because it would be something that you will get an expertise of and uh, afterwards you won't be having much time to focus on new the newer things so just make utilize your time currently because the student life is kind of uh, you have very various paths where you can trade on mm-hmm. yes yes absolutely that was a great message given by you and i want to add one more thing that just keep uh, working on your skills and if you really passionate about the core domain then definitely you, you can get a your dream job so on the this note uh, i would like to end this session i would like to thank pratik for joining this session and uh, giving your time to us i hope the people who are watching this session will this session will help them and uh, yeah uh, in future i am looking to do more podcast uh, with you so stay tuned for that thank you for watching